Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you that hit this video to watch it. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below, hit that like button. All of those help my channel grow and get pushed out by YouTube, so thank you so much for doing that. If you haven't already, I do have a video out right now with a giveaway that's going on. Today is Thursday and I will draw the winner tomorrow on Friday, so you still have a chance. So I'm going to link that video down below with the giveaway on it so you can watch it and follow all the, the steps to be entered to win on that giveaway. So again, linked down below, go check it out. Today I have a collective haul and some happy mail. I am really behind on the happy mail. Some of the things I did get before Christmas and um, I didn't do any recordings because it was right in that time frame where I was just super busy finishing up Christmas and getting everything all together. And then um, some of it has already been packed away actually because I got the stuff out of it and I used it in my Christmas decor and I've started putting it all away. But um, some lovely ladies sent me some wonderful items that included some Christmas decorations. And then I didn't check my P.O. box like forever. So I have the things that I just went and found and checked. So I'm sorry guys, I was, I was a little behind in getting over to my P.O. box. And then I know that there's some cards that are missing because I got them in that time frame where I was really busy around Christmas and I just attached them to my wall of cards and I don't know the difference of whose I've already shown versus whose I haven't because I just wanted to get them on my wall to share them and so I'm sorry that I wasn't able to thank you on camera but I do appreciate you so much if you've sent me anything so let's get into the happy mail real fast first I have this I sent these cards out because I absolutely love them and Linda sent me this card she is from Linderella loves the Dollar Tree and May flowers and Blue Moons used to be the title of it, but she changed it. Um, I will link her channels down below, but she sent me this beautiful card and on the sticker. I love this one with the gingy and little mug. So thank you, Linda. I'll, like I said, link her channel down below. This one is from Kaylin from Crazy Days of Kaylin. Also recommend Kaylin. Kaylin. Ah, am I saying it wrong? It doesn't. Let's see. Kaylin. Callan because the L is first. So got that from her. This one came from Marilee. So thank you, Marilee. I got your card. It is beautiful. I love this card and all the sparkles on it. Then I have this one. Kelsey, I did get your package. You asked. This is from Kelsey. She has a channel as well. It is um childlike faith I love her channel i'll have her linked down below sent me a beautiful note as well as a couple little goodies this really cute gingy who is adorable and he has a little base too so he can stand up and so i'll put that in my box for next year and then this very pretty snowflake which will match my front tree my cozy cabin tree perfectly so i just took that tree down and i will just toss this with the ornament so next year i can get it up on that tree so got yours, Kelsey. Thank you so, so much. That was very thoughtful and sweet. Oh, the USPS is hiring. So if anyone's looking for a job, we got this one. This is from Tammy and family. Thank you so much. Also a very beautiful card. I love that. And this is from, okay, so what do you go by? Tata? Because you did comment that, but then it's lose, I think is how you say it. So you did ask if I got your card, and I was like, oh, I thought I did. And I looked on my um, in my cards that were on my wall, and it wasn't there. It was still in my P.O. box, so I did get it. So I got that, love it. And she added some really cute little gingy stickers on there as well. So I got your card. Thank you so much. Again, I'm sorry I was behind in checking my P.O. box. I just was behind. And then... Before Christmas, I got some packages. So this one, make sure I'm not showing the address. I love that duct tape on there. So this was from Jennifer. She has a channel, but it's not currently active. And she sent me some amazing, amazing items in here. First, she did send me a beautiful card that I got and pulled out of there with a very sweet note. And girl, you know I love you. 
in here, so I can't show it unfortunately because I packed it up with my gingerbread stuff when I took down my Christmas because as soon as I got it, I put it right on my tear tray. But she sent me a beaded garland with a cute little gingerbread on it and it is adorable. If you see my walkthrough, my Christmas decoration walkthrough, it's on there. And so as soon as I got this package, I made sure to put that up. And then she got me this tin, which I didn't have before and I love it because it's got the gingies and the hot cocoa. And it's got the one that opens, and that's where the garland, I think, was when I opened it. So super cute and right up my alley. And then she sent me these bags. So she got these on a website, and I can't remember what it's called. Um, comment down below, Jennifer, what it is, and then I can link it because I can't remember. I tried going to it, and I never ordered anything. But it had killer deals. And so she got me this, which I love, like, because I love pineapples. And then she even took it a step further and personalized it for me. So I'm going to definitely use this when I travel because I love these bags in my travel bags. And she filled it full of goodies. I've only found one of these lip glosses. And if you watched my last Dollar Tree haul, I am a lip gloss girl. Like, I always try to buy lipstick and I never do. On my lips right now, it's a gloss. It's um, the Hard Candy Plumper Gloss and um it has this the hint of color so i like it but i don't like lipstick i never wear it and so she sent me these lip oils so i'm really excited to give them all a try so this one is i think watermelon oh i'm excited for watermelon and it looks like it might have a little pink tint but i don't know if the tint shows up on it this one is grape these are i've seen some of them randomly yeah mint because i picked up a mint because that was the only one i found in my stores but i don't see them very often and then, then there's strawberry. So excited to give those a try because I love the glosses and the lip oils. And then in here, she also gave me some cute little makeup brushes with the tropical. It's like a tropical theme with like the little palm leaves because I do love all things tropical. Pineapples, flamingos, palm trees. If you are on my Instagram, you saw this. So my husband and I last night, my last night didn't go quite as planned as what I had planned for it, but I found this boat that was being sold and it's literally, it's a pontoon, but like it doesn't have any of the pontoon. It just has the helm. So the part you drive and it's flat otherwise. And it has been one of my goals, my life dream goals to do an ice cream boat. And so we went and we bought it and we are going to turn it into an ice cream boat. And I am so excited. So summer of 2023 is probably when we will have that up and ready because I don't think we'll have time to get it all done before this summer. But I am so excited to do that. And my husband has a channel, but he doesn't, he hasn't been active on it in a really long time. And so the process of him helping our, well, him doing, because I'm not going to do all the grunt work of it, but him turning the boat into an ice cream boat will be on his channel. And as soon as that process starts, I'll link it down below. Um, not this one, but you know, when it happens. So let me know if you're interested in watching him or if you have husbands that are interested in like boats and stuff, because yeah. Sorry, sidetracked. So she sent me this. I don't think this came from Dollar Tree. Was this from Walmart when they were doing their hard candy? Because I've not seen it this one. But oh my gosh, look at those colors in there. These purples are right up my alley because I always do like purple. Like that is my color. That is my jam. The hot pink if I'm feeling real 80s maybe. I like that though. And then those browns are beautiful. So it's such pretty colors. And then I like the snowflakes on their packaging too. It's really cute. That's why I think it might have came from Walmart. And oh my gosh, these ones too. Let me try to open this. Oh good. Oh no, it's taped. Because these colors are my jam. Like these are my colors. Totally. Sorry guys. Like look at those colors. Look at these two with like the sparkle they're kind of like a sparkle slash a white in there and those pinks and then with the purple and the other one like so this one's called blissful nudes and this one was called desert fever so beautiful colors thank you jennifer i love those she sent me a pot holder i didn't get this one out i had some other ones out but i'm going to put them with my stuff so next year i can get them out it says may your holidays be filled with cookies i never found this i think think this is the one from Dollar General and I never came across any of their cute gingy stuff but I've had a few people send me some stuff which I am very appreciative of. There's a cute little sticker down in the bottom of the, pa of the, the packaging. This one too now so the same from the same website 
It's got the flamingos on one side, which I love. I love all things flamingo. And then she personalized it. And this vinyl, or this what she used, is like soft. So ugh, love it. I can't wait to use these to travel. And probably for other things too. Like, oh my gosh. Flamingo toothpicks. Decorative toothpicks. Like, I can't wait to decorate for summer with my flamingos. I never did last year. I just ran out of time. And so this year I absolutely will probably do it even early on. These awesome flamingo socks. Adorable. Like, adorable. They're men's, but they are perfect for... They're just perfect. I'll just wear them. And, girl, like, this was unexpected. I saw you haul this when you were doing your last, like, I think it was your last haul, actually. And I was like, oh, I should get on their website and look. And I forgot and I never did. And then you sent this to me. So, like, this one makes me excited. I will use this. This is exactly what I like to do to just carry my cards in. The pineapples are perfect. The little toucan even just steps it up a notch. So thank you so much, so much for this. Like, I was ridiculously excited when I opened that and saw that in there. So this is from Jennifer from Simple Life. I got it before Christmas. I know we're like halfway through January, but better late than never. Now this one came from ooh, Brandy Lynn Mitchell. I love her channel. And I always have her down in my some of my favorite ladies because she is one of my favorite ladies. The packaging, adorable on here with the rhinestones. And they all have that, like the rhinestones on there. Oh, such cute stickers. I opened this, but I will say her packaging was impeccable. It was really a beautiful tissue paper. And then like this one, you could hear the bells on it. She had like little bells attached, so it's right there. Her ribbon was gorgeous. I wish I would have opened it on camera because her wrapping of everything was gorgeous. So in here she sent me some more of this garland, which I didn't have a chance to put out, but I will use it next year actually because I put it over my window over my tree and I'm going to double it up so that it's just fuller. And so these are perfect to have. And she sent me the matching trees, two of them, which I added to my decor as soon as I opened this. And then now it's actually already packed away, so I'm not going to show them because I don't want to dig through the, the tote that they're in. But those are going to go in with the stuff, and perfect. She sent me this LA Colors lip gloss, and again, I talked about I'm a lip gloss person, so that is absolutely perfect. This is Watermelon Splash. So I have, like, choices now of lip gloss. Talking about her beautiful ribbon, this came off of one of them, like... Just such pretty, pretty ribbons. Now, these came from the 99 cent only store, which I don't have, and I wish I had, because every time I see people haul stuff from the 99 cent only store, I'm so jealous. And look at these guys, they're so cute. And look at their little hats, they have sparkles in them. So you can kind of see on the red one, like when I move them. Like, these guys are so cute. So they are going to go up with my decor next year. And then she sent me some masks which I'm gonna have like a girl day and just do some masks. So this one is Soothing from Spa Life and it's got the aroma of freshly baked gingerbread and how cute is that packaging? This one is Tea Time Natural Tea Accent Extract, paraben sulfate free and it's matcha. I love matcha. Like I like to drink matcha so that is perfect. And then this one is the Sprinkles Mask from Dollar Tree. I wonder if maybe with my daughter I'll do a, a mask day and then let her do the sprinkles and then do one of the other ones. I got some Snugadoo Santa socks. I love these cozy socks. I wear them all through the winter because the floors get cold in my house. We have some more of the beautiful wrapping. And then I think this is the last thing in here. I can't remember if I missed anything else. Oh, I'm talking about her beautiful wrapping. Like, look at that. And it says, open me last. That's this box here. But look at that Christmas tree on there. Like, are you serious? That is a tag from somewhere, not the Dollar Tree. And that that is gorgeous. I'm going to try to probably take it off and use it somewhere for, like, decor. Because it's so pretty. So this is, it says Alex and Annie. And you open it up. And look at this little bracelet like how adorable that is so pretty so it's got a little Christmas tree on it you know what 
so it's love tokens christmas tree made in america with love like oh my gosh my mom for christmas gave um all of us girls on christmas eve their believe ones in a red and so i could wear the believe and the christmas tree so i'm going to pack them together for next christmas and wear them through the season next year so thank you thank you brandy i appreciate you so much and i'm sorry i didn't do this sooner but i appreciate it now and then lastly for happy mail this came from celeste i love you celeste like you are one of my favorites i don't have favorites i love you all but like just the cards you sent like they touch me they touch my heart so so much so she sent me a package this was in it i didn't want to get it back in there it was like in there tight so it's a beautiful flamingo notebook and i just love these these i like to travel and take with me and just write like when we're traveling or if i'm writing notes or anything that i need and then there's a card in here i promise and when i opened it first I pulled it out first look at this like oh my gosh such a pretty card a big poofy sticker so cute and really like a beautiful card with a beautiful sentiment really about being inspiring and like I almost got tears in my eyes like when I was reading it and it makes it so worth being here so I was so excited when I opened this because of these I have not seen these so they are like those little glass jar stickers. I did one for around Christmas that had candies in it. And this is like the candy hearts. I'm just going to use that for decor. I'm just going to put that somewhere. I don't want to, I don't want to use the stickers, but it comes with, well, this one doesn't tell me how many stickers, a whole bunch of them. It says, I love you. XOXO. I can't tell. Some of them I think are just plain and it's a 3d sticker bag. Like oh, how cute. And then also in there were some flamingos. How cute are these? So it says the ha the paper studio. So I assume they're for like your planners and stuff. I don't know. I have to think really hard where I want to use them because I love them so much and I don't want to like put them on something that then ends up in the trash. So like I need to think really hard where I'm going to put those because I love them. Thank you guys. That's my happy mail. So I have a collective haul and I have just a small amount of things from five below. I have a few things from Target. Nothing that I'm like searching for from Target because I can't find the a bunch of the stuff that I want. I'm going to go there probably later today, but I needed to get this haul done. So later today, so hopefully here soon, you'll see more from Target. But And then I have Hobby Lobby, which I feel like I scored at Hobby Lobby. So first of all, let's talk about Five Below. I only have three items from here. My son needed a new mouse for school, and so we picked this up. And he actually, it's not in here because he pulled it out and he's using it and he really likes it and it's a slim wireless mouse and it's working perfect for what he needs it for. We're on remote learning. He had school yesterday. Today they went on remote because so many teachers are sick so they just don't have enough staff. And so he's here home today and tomorrow doing remote learning. And then Monday we have an off day for, I think it's Martin Luther King Day. And then Tuesday he's supposed to go back to school. Here's hoping. I picked this up for my best friend for her, it's going to be her Christmas slash birthday gift basket because I haven't gotten it for her yet. So she loves Friends and she loves Shit's Creek. So those are kind of the themes that are in there. I got her the Friends chapsticks back when they were going around. I found them like twice and then I never saw them again. And then um, I'm collecting a bunch of Shit's Creek stuff. So this was on the 50% rack at Five Below. So it was $2.50 and it says full of inspiration, fashion trips, fashion tips, dating advice, trivia, and hilarious quotes from Monica's apartment. And so it's just a cute little tabletop book with Friends stuff because she's a huge fan of Friends. And like I mentioned, she's a gigantic, friends of Schitt's, a gigantic fan of Schitt's Creek. It is hilarious. If you haven't watched it, you need to. And it says, um, things... You won't be no. You won't believe the things you'll hear. It's some game, two to four, or four more players, fourteen to adult. So I thought she might like this in case she has some friends over and they want to play a little game. So I was gonna add that, and that one was five dollars at five below. Now at Target, I picked up the Valentines for the kids. These are actually the same ones I got for Braxton last year, but he was fine with doing it again because he's, you know, got new classmates. And so I picked up the two because they come with 16 each. They come with a pencil for each Valentine, which I think is a nice little gift. They were $3.50 for the kit. 
And so Harry Potter is his favorite. So I thought that that was a nice way for him to give out his Valentines. For Lorelai, I picked up these ones. I actually need to ask her today if this is what she wants to do because if I need to return it, I need to do it soon. And this one comes with erasers. So it includes 48 heart seals, 16 rainbow valentines, and erasers. And they look like that. And for Eric, he likes like World War war stuff and other yeah i didn't find anything so i got him minecraft i'm gonna see if that's what he digs this one it comes with 24 valentines and 24 sticker sheets of minecraft so i'm gonna check with them make sure that those are what they want to send to their little friends for valentine's day and then i found this and i'm gonna put this by my kitchen sink i love the way it looks there's one that says dishes and one that says hands. I had picked up two of the dispensers from Dollar Tree that I was just going to use my Cricut and do the same thing with, but I like the look of these better. And these were $5 for the two, so $2.50 each, not terrible. And so I'm going to transfer everything into that for the soap. I picked up in their Dollar Spot, Target's Bullseye Playground, three of these, one for each of the kids. I was going to put them in their Valentine's Day gifts. And so I got the heart little mini poppet because kids are ridiculous and they're super into these things. This one is like a tie-dye square and a glow-in-the-dark dinosaur. So, I, yeah, I just figured I'd toss those. They were a dollar each in Bullseye's Playground, so I thought that was a good deal. Same in Bullseye's Playground. I picked up three of these. The other one's still on the bottom. I was going to add this to their Valentine's Day gifts. It says, You are sweet. And it's just a little bath fizzer, it says, and it is berry sherbet scented. So we each will have one of those. And then, so this bag I picked up a little while ago, and so I walked through their little tar or their Christmas clearance, and I was so excited to find these. So Mari from she was Restored Creations, now she's Everything Mari on her channel. She used these, she took out the hot chocolate, so there's a hot chocolate in here, which is good until June 2022. So I'm going to pull the hot chocolate out, save the little cups, and put them on one of my, either my coffee or my hot cocoa bar, or my coffee, or my gingerbread tree in my um, kitchen. This one actually would even go on my cozy cabin tree, because like hot cocoa, cozy cabin, and then this one probably on the one in the kitchen. I don't know, like, they're adorable, though, and I didn't even, wouldn't have even thought to use these as ornaments on my tree, but Mari gave me that idea, so I snatched them up when I saw them. They were 50% off. I don't remember what their regular price was. I think they were a dollar each at the 50% off, if I remember correctly. Either way, totally worth it, and then I'll give the kids the hot cocoa. And then, lastly, from Target, one thing I found from Valentine's Day, I found this apron. So I got each of the kids for Christmas their own little aprons because they're going to start doing one meal at least a month, if not more, that they're going to cook and they're really excited for it. And um, so I got them each an apron and a new cookbook. So Braxton got the Harry Potter cookbook. Hey, Eric, I got him a World War II cookbook and it's like recipes from like World War II because that's what he's currently into. And then uh, Lorelai was like an American Girl cookbook and she's already cooked for us once. But I got this apron for me for to have in the kitchen because I can use this year round even though it's pink and covered in hearts because it's pink and covered in hearts and so it works perfect. So I picked that up for me to have in the kitchen. All right, Hobby Lobby, which I feel like I scored. Let me show you this first. It was in my thumbnail. Ah, I wanted these so bad. So we went. My husband and I went to one Hobby Lobby. That's where I got all the stuff that I have, and then they didn't have these, and he made a stop at a Hobby Lobby the other day, a different one, and picked them up for me because I wanted them. What a good guy. So they were $7.99 each, however, they were 40% off. So everything that I picked up for Valentine's Day was 40% off of its regular price. So he grabbed those for me, and I love them. Let's see. We picked up these little bowls. I talked about I got the little cupcake liners from Dollar Tree because I like to do like my fruits and stuff like in a separate bowl one because I don't like them like touching anything else but um I just also like the way they look cute and like if I want ice cream not that I'm eating a bunch of ice cream because I'm like 
trying to do a wellness health goals. I have a new channel link down below. So far there's only one thing on it, but I have plans for some more upcoming videos that will be posted soon. But this is like a good serving size too. So like it helps keep it where it looks like a nice full bowl because it's a small bowl, but you get your little treat in it. So I got lavender, white, hot pink, and baby pink. They were $2.99 each, but 40% off. I think they were like $1.75 or something. I got this because I thought it was too darn cute. It is tic-tac-toe, and I think the kids will love it. So I'm just going to leave it on my coffee table, and the kids can play it. I don't like paper straws, but I do love them for decoration. And so I grabbed these to put on the hot cocoa bar. It's not going to be that. It's going to be a coffee bar. But just to set over there, and I think that they're really cute. They were $2.99, but 40% off. The tic-tac-toe was $5.99, but 40% off. These stickers I could not pass up. They have, like, the candy hearts and, like, little gummy bears. It was the gummy bears that did it for me. Do you see the little yellow guy right there? Like, the gummy bears did it. And, like, little lollipops. I have literally no plan for those, but they were too cute not to buy. This was in their spring section, but my husband saw it and he's like, yeah, you need that. And their little flamingo toothpicks and a little blue pail. So cute. And it comes with 25 of them. They were $5.99. The spring stuff was also 40% off. So got that because it was too darn cute. I got these. I love them. They're like the little felt letters envelope things. They were $5.99 but 40% off and I think they are so cute. I can't wait to use those. My husband found this one too. It was $3.99, 40% off. And it says Cupid's Coffee Bar. Love is brewing. So cute. So I'm going to hang that over by my coffee bar because like how do you not? How adorable. This one was too darn cute. It was $3.99, 40% off. Oh, how cute is that? And this is like a little wood piece that kind of sticks out, the little turning knob. So had to have that. Got this one. My husband actually found it, but we picked it up. It says, you're my person, because we say that to each other all the time, that you're my person. It's either you're my person or I love you more, and we argue about who loves each other more. So... Oh, maybe I found that one, and he, I don't know. I, he was finding stuff, too. This was $2.99, 40% off, and it says, I love us. He definitely found this one, too, and tossed it in the cart, and I love it. Let's see. These we got for the kiddos' rooms. Oh, my goodness. They're kind of heavy. They were 40% off because they were, like, the decorative items. So this is a hook. We got it for Eric's room. And it's, like, an anchor. It was $5.99, 40% off. Maybe these were 50% off, if I remember. They were 40 or 50% off. And then he also grabbed these ones. They're like little hanging knobs. And we're going to put them in their rooms for like their backpacks, because these are sturdy, like sturdy, sturdy hooks for backpacks, towels, that kind of thing, so that they have a spot to put their stuff. Super cute. And then lastly, for, yep, lastly, for this haul, and I think he picked up another set of these because these were the only two that were there because we're going to do some shelving in at least the two boys' rooms. But these brackets for Eric's room, and they are octopuses, or krakens as he likes to say, and they were $10.99 but on sale. 40 or 50 percent off i can't remember so guys that is my collective haul thank you so so much for being here i am going to probably re quickly record a dollar tree haul for tomorrow on friday but tomorrow i will be drawing a winner for my giveaway so i will just add that in there separately for, like in or pop it in there from the haul because i'm going to pick the winner tomorrow because that's what the rules were and um so make sure to click down below on that video so that you could be entered to win my giveaway and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so, so much for being here. Bye, guys.